Hello, welcome to another video. I will show you today what the concept of closure is for numbers. And um, I'm just gonna make this video shorter than my previous two videos so you don't get bored. I know you're never bored. Let's just get down to it. So what does it mean to say that um, a set of numbers has closure under a certain operation? Um, I have just used three expressions. The first one is closure, which I've written as a topic. The second one is um, under an operation and whether the set is closed or not. So what is a set, what is closure, and what is an operation? Let's start from what an operation is, okay? So an operation is basically what you do to a set of numbers. You pick any two numbers, you add them together, just Adding them together is called an operation, addition, okay? Or it might be subtraction, multiplication, division. Whatever you do with numbers that gives you a result is called an operation. And the, the four fundamental operations in math, which actually every other operation is built on, are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So, when you pick a set of numbers and you perform any of these operations on them, will you always get an answer that belongs to that set of numbers? So, let's take an example. If I take even numbers, for example. I take even numbers. We know even numbers are numbers multiples of two, including zero, any number that ends in any of those. So uh, if I take the numbers six and eight, I add them together. Will my answer be an even number? Remember, the set I've just used as an example is even numbers. So will I get an even number? My answer here is 14. Is 14 an even number? Yes. Okay, that's it. Let me think of another case. Is there an, a, a case in which I will add two even numbers and my answer will not be an even number? Mm, nope. Your answer will always be an even number. So, you say that the set of even numbers is closed under addition. See, this is how we state it. That's the meaning of closure, which means when you take numbers from a certain set, you perform an operation on those numbers, the result you get will always be a member of the set. So it could be the set of odd numbers, the set of even numbers, the set of, of uh, real numbers, of natural numbers, the set of positive integers, the set of whole numbers. You just need to know what numbers belong to that set. So you're gonna struggle really hard with this topic if you don't know how to define a set and what elements belong to a set. Okay, so you just have to know it. Let me give you another example. So remember, these are the, 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 the simple operations we're performing, okay? So let's stick to that. Let me quickly take you through some more examples. So I'm gonna uh, let you see this addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's take another example for closure. So what I wanna do is add odd numbers together. I want to see if this statement is true. Excuse me. Let's use a better marker. Come on. So we go, we say the set of odd numbers is, we don't want to say whether it's closed or not closed, but we want to do it under addition. So, is it closed or not closed? We have two options to pick from, okay? We're gonna pick from closed or not closed. 
So we pick two odd numbers. Let's say three and 11. Three plus 11. Your answer is 14, okay? Remember, we're dealing with only odd numbers. However, the answer we just got is 14. Let's look for a way to add two odd numbers and get an odd number. Uh, it, it wouldn't work. It never works. Every time you add odd numbers, you always get even numbers. It means the set of odd numbers will not give you odd numbers as long as you're doing addition all the time. Sometimes these things happen, but not in this case. So it is not closed. You can extend this to any set of numbers, but you need to know what elements belong to the numbers. Okay? So I'm going to give you one more example. Uh, let's take the set of whole numbers. Uh, that's going to be a problem for some people because some people don't know what whole numbers are. Okay, let's start. What's the smallest whole number? It's zero. So what is left is for you to know what happens when you take a set of numbers. Well, you have to first know the set of numbers. So I'm gonna quickly run through all kinds of sets and I'm glad that I have this number line on the board. And I want to give a shout out to my friend who has allowed me to use her board, um, Mrs. Lignan. Thank you for letting me use your board. Okay, um, right now, all numbers to the right, these black numbers you see are called natural numbers because you can count them on your fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can count them naturally up until positive infinity, okay? So they're called natural numbers. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going to write all kinds of sets that you might meet in a test. You must know what that is. Um, sets, number one, we call them natural numbers. Natural numbers are all numbers starting from positive one, positive two, all the way. They have another name. Another name is positive integers. So all these are also called positive integers. Okay? So... Natural numbers are positive integers. Please do not refer to them as whole numbers because these numbers are not the set of whole numbers. They're set of positive integers or the set of natural numbers. When you talk about whole numbers, so this set you have here, same, same set, just two different names, positive integers or natural numbers. Now, when you add zero to it, when the number starts from zero, positive one, positive two, and you keep going this way, then you call those numbers whole numbers. Okay. This could be a very testing question because if you don't know the difference between natural numbers and whole numbers, you might be in a trap. Okay. So you want to be able to define your set. Okay. And the, the definition is basically um, knowing what numbers belong to that set. So you have the set of real numbers, the set of natural numbers, of whole numbers, negative integers, the set of integers, the set of, of real numbers, okay? The set of natural numbers. Those are the common sets that show up in your test. And if you're able to define the set, you can define whether the set is closed or not closed. I appreciate you watching. If you have um, any questions, you can put it in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe um, to my channel and let me know any questions you would like me to solve or whatever topic you would like me to talk about. Until I see you in the next video, don't stop learning.